<laughs> Would you look at that? That's nice. Longer reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review their Longer LK5 Pro. I said, sure, why not? It's got a really unique hot end. Now this is one of the more unique uh, 3D printers I've built. And um, I'm not going to include the how I built it in this video because I'll just put a link below. You can view it on the website. And plus it's on the SD card. They say it's 90% pre-assembled, but I say it's more like 70 to 75%. You do get a bag of spare parts. It has a 3D printed filament guide with a PTFE tube that goes through it. And uh, you get some Allen keys. You get a spanner wrench. And you do get some zip ties, but I already used them. You get about five or six of them. You also get a memory card and reader. Uh, like I said, this has the videos on there on how to assemble it, plus some pre-sliced files that I'll print. You do get this uh, quick start guide, assembly guide here. It's a one-sheeter. That's actually what I use to assemble the machine. It's pretty thorough. Tells you what to do. What else do you expect? You also get this scraper. Actually, not too bad. And you get this huge roll of filament. Really? Come on now. If you're looking for a pair of flush cutters, well, that's self-funded. You don't get a pair. Once assembled, you realize this printer is not going to win a beauty contest, but it is big. A 300 by 300 by 400 build area. You're going to want to make sure though that uh, you remove the sticker so you could change the voltage for your region. I did, uh, you know, 115 for mine. And then um, this is a 360 watt 24 volt power supply, Ching Ling. It has that very unique part cooler. And it only has a 30 millimeter hot end fan. Has a uh, Teflon Bowden tube, which is nice. Has a 4.3 inch touchscreen display. Has only one Z axis stepper motor. Yeah, it's kind of leaving the other side a little lonely. You have to install this Z limit switch, but you may have to adjust it later on. You get a filament runout sensor. The micro SD card reader is on the back. And the power switch is all the way in the back of the machine. Your bed is mounted to six V rollers that's joined to a piece of 40 by 20 extruded aluminum. For stability, you have two inclined rods. Currently, this printer is priced at $329. It also has silent drivers and a glass bed. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Are you looking for a PCB manufacturer? Oh, look no further. PCBWay has you covered. Well, let's see what they have. Let's just click on instant quote here. Well, you're talking about a lot of options. I mean, they really have you covered. You could choose your layers, the material, the thickness. You can even choose the solder mask color here. Oh, pretty amazing. They also do advanced PCBs, rigid flex PCBs, assembly, and SMD stencils. If you're looking for PCBs, look no further than PCB Way. Thank you, PCB Way, for sponsoring this video. Now, Longer does recommend Cura, but we're going to actually use the most latest and greatest at Cura 4.12. And within Cura 4.12, there is actually a longer LK5 Pro profile. And we're going to just use that. Find it, click Add. And what we're going to do is just use all the defaults that are in there. Pretty nice and easy. Next, we're going to just grab a reciprocal vase from Clockspring. And I'm going to just bump up the size here to 125. And then we're going to just check the slicer settings here. Again, I'm keeping almost everything default here, but... Well, I like my quality at 0 0.12. Let's go ahead and scroll down here. Everything looks good. Uh, the material, yep, 200 is fine for this polymaker. So that's good. The bed is at 60. Yeah, everything else looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. 
basically all that's left to do is change this to like base mode and we have to enable spiral spiral um, and then once we do that we check it and then all we have to do is slice it and save it to the SD card but next we're going to go ahead and take a look at that display before we decide to print now let's go ahead and take a look at the display leveling is all on the SD card or on the web and how to go ahead and get that done it took three passes for me to get mine level tune well, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to hit the nozzle. We could adjust the temperature there. The bed, we could adjust the temperature there. Fan speed. And we got a feed rate here. And what's the bottom? Nozzle flow. Pretty simple. And what's next? We can move all the accesses. Disable the steppers, then re-enable them. And let's go back to home. We can click on file. Go ahead and go through all the pages and it will tell you right there which file is selected and you hit open. And then we can go to filament. You can go ahead and change your filament. And then we can go to about, tells you all the information, even the firmware. And look at that, printing total time. Yep, I've spent about 37 hours on it. Let's go ahead and uh, kick off some prints, shall we? Now at this point in the video, I'll be showing you all the stuff that I printed and make you say, oh man, I really want this machine. However, uh, that's not the case right here. I decided to go on Twitter and what did I see? Something a little different about this machine. This is exactly what I needed. I was going to address this in the video about the perk cooling. Actually, the prints that I did weren't that bad. And, uh, but now, Longer is sending me this uh, blower kit to install. <laughs> it's got the 410 fan, the one in the center, so they increased the size of that. They got the two blowers on the sides for park cooling. <laughs> Not bad at all. Addressed all the issues just with replacing this. Now, it wasn't that easy. And uh, it took about an hour to do it. And the biggest problem was is the belt is just long enough to install it. But let's uh, wait for a delivery and get it installed. Yes, sir. And how are you this afternoon? All righty then. I have a package for you. Packaging is top notch here. It fits right in. Took about two weeks for delivery. And uh, man, look at it. It looks professional. It's got that 4010 right up front. You got dual blowers here. These 3D printed uh, part coolers look really nicely done. Man, it's like, it's like what it should be. Look at it looks so much better also than the original part cooling and hot end. So I went ahead and installed it. I reran some of the wiring to make it look better. I found some uh, little um, clips for the coupler so that uh, the Teflon tube doesn't pack out. Well, I guess it's time to reprint everything and do a comparison. See how much better, if it is better, the new part cooling works.
first is the time lapse of this Terminator Rex. This is done in Polymaker Silver Silk. I was looking for something that kind of looked like metal. I think this kind of pulled it off. Now, this is done with the original part cooling. And I have to say, this came out really nice. I'm still working on some of cleanup here because there was a lot of supports on here, as you saw in the time lapse. Some of the time lapse were not the the supports were kind of camera shy, so so to speak. But the teeth and everything from the top came out nice. Now let's look at the bottom. I'm hard pressed to say that this isn't a bad print at all. I think all, everything came out really cool. I mean, I think the layers look nice. Now this is at a 0.12 layer height. Yeah, i pretty darn impressed. Well, I did duplicate prints. So the right is the old cooler and the left is the new. You can see a little bit of ghosting here, but wow, it is a big difference here. Look, look at the sides, the corners. The walls are so much nicer. I mean, it's honestly, it's a, it's real nice. I didn't, I <laughs> till these printed out. I was like, oh, it's not that bad of a print. Top and bottom look great on both sides. It's definitely an improvement. Now, I would have been just happy with this Benchy stock, everything, no stringing at all. You know, just some kind of layers here, inconsistent. I mean, it's a little bit feeling of rough, but. Zero stringing, top, bottom look really good. I mean, for a Benchy, pre-sliced, not bad. Then I come to this one with the new cooler installed. This has to be one of the nicest Benchies out of the box. And I believe this new part cooler is being installed on all new printers. If that's the case, I think they have a nice winner on their hands here. I mean, side by side, then you can see the difference. This is Polymaker Silk Purple. I mean, pretty darn impressive. Now, I really couldn't see that much of a difference with these vases. Now, the Benchy and this vase and the cube were pre sliced. And, you know, it's. I would say it's kind of a draw here. It, I don't see anything that really stands out. If you see anything, let me know. Put it in the comments below. And next, these vases. Man, this is an old one. <laughs> I am so happy with the finish of this. Look, at it just glistens. And this was with the old part cooler. Not bad at all. Inside, this is... The clock spring reciprocal vase. It's be in the description below. And now we take the new one. And you know what? It does have a, I think, uh, at a 0.12, as we did, it looks really good. I, I think, okay, the vase, I think, looks better with the new nozzle or the new hot end assembly with the two dual coolers side by side. You, you tell me. I, I think the left is a little bit better, but not by much. But man, I, I'm very satisfied with how this 3D printer prints. They have addressed some issues here. Um, they put a strain relief in the back, which was on several reviews an issue that people brought up. And look what they did. They decided to make their own. And they addressed the park coin again, which was on some other reviews. You know, it's nice to see a manufacturer stepping up and um, looking what people are addressing in their products. And I really think that for 329, if this park cooler comes pre-installed on it, not bad, not a bad deal of whatsoever. Again, will this printer win a beauty contest? Most likely not. But as for functionality. It does a really good job. Um, it would be nice if they maybe offer another uh, Z uh, motor and rod just to give it a little bit more stability, but I didn't see any of those issues. Now, I did notice that there was no Z offset in the display. Hopefully, they'll address this in another firmware update. 
If you're looking to purchase the longer LK5 Pro, I'll leave an affiliate link down below that you can purchase it from. This way, you can help support the channel and I can produce more awesome content like this. I really want to thank you for tuning in to Tripod's Garage. Please have a pleasant day, evening, or weekend, or whenever you decide to watch this video. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you the next time on Tripod's Garage.